The binary search is a great way to find an item in a large dataset. How it works is this. Imagine you have a dictionary and need to find a name beginning with K. You wouldn't start with the first page and read all the A's and then the B's and then the C's and keep going until you get to K. You'd instead open the book to the middle and begin there. Binary search takes this approach. Imagine we have an ordered array with 50 numbers in it. Note a binary search requires an ordered list. So from this list, let's say we need to find the index of a certain number in it. Let's say the target number is 112. We need to find what index 112 is in. In a traditional linear search, we start at index zero, then we go to one and then to two and so forth sequentially until we locate the number. This would take 45 steps as this number is at index 44. But with binary search, we begin at the midpoint of the list, which would be at 58. Since 58 is less than 112, we can eliminate the entire left half of the list in one guess. And we do this by moving the starting index up to the midpoint. Now we just have half the list. So our next check is to find the new midpoint, which is now number 90. 90 is lower than 112, so we'll eliminate the left side of the list again by moving the starting index up to the midpoint. Next midpoint is 109, which is lower than 112, wiping out the left side again. And the next midpoint is 117, which is higher than 112, wiping out the entire right half this time, moving the last index back to the midpoint. And finally, we land on index 44, which is 112. Bingo, we found our number. And it only took five steps, as opposed to a traditional linear search that would have taken 45 steps. For a little context, a 10,000 element array will take, worst case scenario, 10,000 steps for a linear search to find the target, while only 14 steps for a binary search. And as you continue to go up, the binary search gets more efficient at only 32 steps to find an item in a billion element array. If you want to know why it gets more efficient or how you can calculate the steps in any binary search and how this all fits into what we call big O notation, then check out my weekly data structures and algorithm events in the imposter devs community, link below. And finally, while some languages like C-sharp has a binary search built in, others we have to implement them ourselves. So how do we write this in Python? Well, first we define the function. It takes an ordered list and the number we're looking for as parameters. Next, we get the size of the list, then the first element of the array, and the last element of the array. And then we create a while loop that continues until the list is small enough. And in this while loop, we'll get the midpoint by dividing the sum of the first and the last index by two. And to keep it a whole number, we'll do some floor division, hence the two slashes. Then, if that midpoint value equals the target, then we've found the number and we return the index. Search over. If the target is greater than the midpoint, then we move the beginning of the list up to the midpoint, i.e. we wipe out the left side of the list. And then this else is, if the target is less than the midpoint, then we'll move the end of the list down to the midpoint, i.e. we wipe out the right side of the list. Now we can search for any number in an array, and in a few steps, we'll have its index printed out. And that's a binary search. Try it for yourself. Thanks for watching.